Most of us have only ever heard of the Argentine Maradona, but today we'll change that just a bit. Hi, I'm Ankur Sharma, you're watching Super Football, and these are the five things that you should absolutely know about the magician that was Cristiano Day. Cristiano was nicknamed Indian Maradona by the Indian football fans thanks to his incredible ball skills, his quick acceleration and one-of-a-kind ability to tread a through ball from almost all angles. As a kid, not a lot of people fancied Cristiano Day to become a footballer since he was very frail physically. But then that changed as soon as he joined Kolkata Police. And his first big move came to Mohan Bagan and that is when he was touted as one of India's finest and brightest talents. Back when Krishan was playing for Mohan Bagan, East Bengal really wanted to sign him before the 1984 Asian Cup. Now, Jimin Chakraborty, who was a famous recruiter for East Bengal, knew that uh, Krishan's mother used to take all the final decisions. And that was pretty much it. Chakraborty went straight to Krishan's house and started sweeping the porch. And then Krishan's mother saw him doing it. And that is why she got embarrassed and called him in. And that is when Chakraborty made a big money offer to Krishan and also offered one a big offer to his relative. So, two job offers and Krishanu Day's mother just couldn't say no. And that is how Krishanu went on. A 22-year-old Krishanu went on to play for six years with East Bengal. In 1991, Bagan decided to sign Krishanu back and the saga was just as dramatic. So East Bengal, of course, were aware of Bagan's interest and that is why they decided to drop the Bikash and Krishanu duo back to their places after every single game so that they just don't flee off somewhere else. Now, one fine night, Mohan Bagan officials quietly moved in, paid them 5 lakh rupees in advance, moved them to a safe house and then signed them for the Mariners. And before the East Bengal officials came to know, their dynamic duo were pretty much out of their reach. India's former cricket captain Saurav Ganguly was a big fan of Krishan Day. He was, in fact, his favourite player. And back when he was a kid, he used to visit Kolkata Maidan regularly to watch Krishan Day and Chunni Goswami. And I, for one, cannot blame him. They were two big superstars. Ganguly dedicated his 100 in the 2003 World Cup against Kenya to Krishan Day two days after his death. And he also sent a very heartfelt letter to Krishan Day's family. Untimely deaths are always the hardest to deal with and when it happens to someone as magical as Krishanu Day, it only gets even harder. Now, Krishanu only died at a meager age of 41 and that was just 6 years after he retired from playing football. Krishanu got himself injured in an amateur football match and the infection that he had grew and that caused him to have a multiple organ failure. Doctors say that it's a very rare occurrence but it does not change the fact that India lost one of its finest footballing pioneers in a very, very short time. And that is it guys, these were the 5 things that you should absolutely know about Krishanu Day. If you like this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And in the comments down below, tell us if we will ever see another Krishanu Day. It's been a long and hard wait. Till the next time, I've been Ankur Sharma. You're watching Super Papa Ball. And I'll see you in the next video. Chunni Goswami is a Bagan legend for a reason. He spent 22 years with the Kolkata Giants and he started off with the U team in 1946 and retired from football in 1968.